Hey, my name is Boton Bater Benchik from Hungary. I live the life fully. I'm a backpacker. Welcome guys in a new episode of my life. <laughs> you crazy bastard. Yay! Hey guys, here we are on the boat with Miss Yoga. Introduce yourself. Como te llama? Yoga. Yoga. She's Mexican. And Mr. Fox. And then the music is coming. Now I just met with Mr. Hector Chrome, who is a very, very interesting man. He's traveling around the world in age of 70, I don't know. He's just an amazing guy with full of stories, so I would love to to introduce him to you guys. So here we are on the boat. On the flying boat! And now in the bloody Canarias, which is very boring. Ah, boring? Not boring, Mr. Bob. Ah, but, yeah, a little eh? bit, yeah. A little bit ordinary. Yeah. And there's too much traffic, too many people. This is maybe two days after we got shipwrecked. Okay. Anybody on the boat? Yes, there's somebody on the boat. Yeah. But there's nothing left. Yeah. Because the waves come from behind, they go down the <coughs> companionway, they go through the boat, and out the back, yeah. and there's nothing inside. Whoa. Everything fucked. Everything gone. Yeah. Except for my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm yeah. lucky, I'm 73. Yeah. You know, I've had a great life. Probably the best time in the history of mankind. Mm -hmm. After the Second World War, yeah. um, uh, you know, through the rock and roll in the 60s and the 70s. Yeah. But um, some of the things, obviously, you know, the pollution, but the other thing is the, the glaciers yeah. in Greenland and in, in, in Antarctica, they're melting and releasing methane. Yeah. How can you stop petroleum, oil? Mm -hmm. When I go back to England next Friday, I would have been on 14 different aircraft in the last three months. Okay. If I'm serious, I will have to change my lifestyle because really, yeah. you know, it's not good. Um, I don't have any milk. Uh, no worries. I, have, uh, I don't drink milk. I have uh, lemon and honey, if you like. Is early morning in the middle of the Atlantic. The sun is coming up. We have the jib, the storm jib, yeah. the engine is going, everybody is asleep because the day before it's really bad and everybody's exhausted. At the back of the boat there is Anne who is a French girl who is on watch. Mm -hmm. I'm the cook. So I come up topside and I say, oh my god, what a beautiful photo. So mm -hmm. I make a photo. I can see in front of the boat there is a bow wave. Yeah. Steady, steady, steady. I take all my clothes off, completely <laughs> fucking naked. Yeah. Very carefully again, no safety harness. I go along the top to the netting. I get on the netting. I go around the netting and I hang off the netting. And I'm actually body surfing in the middle of the Atlantic yeah. in March in a force nine or 10 without any safety harness all by myself. Yeah. And it's amazing. The next thing I know is the boat, it hits a wave in front. Okay. Boom. And the wave hits me and I come off the boat. I don't go under the boat. I go down the side of the boat and I go into the anchor. I throw up one hand. I get the net at the side of the deck. I throw up the other hand. I get the stanchion yeah. and fuck me dead. A big wave hits me from behind. Boom. And back on the fucking boat. Wow. And uh, sadly, it is not here, but it is on, on my Google photos. Yeah. I'm sitting on the, on the, on, back on the boat on my fucking naked bottom with my hands in the air going fucking right yes <laughs> only one time surfing and that was the only time <laughs> i've ever surfed so this is the picture after the yeah back on the washing boat. overboard yeah no bloody clothes on <laughs> like in england they want to make another airport mm -hmm. near london the first thing they can do is cut that out yeah the second thing they can do is cut down the nuclear 
mm -hmm. and spend that money on solar and wind power and employ people. Yeah. Because employment, I mean, tourism, this place will be fucked. Yeah. If there are no more cheap flights, I came from England, 55 pounds. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah, yeah. One time I came here for 10 pounds. Yeah. This has to stop. Once it flows from Barcelona for 5 euro. Ah, to fuck. Tenerife. In the Did you? previous year I flew from Norway to Tenerife, 15 euro. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey guys, it's a new day on my boat. Actually, it's Wednesday, probably. And uh, 8th of May. So the previous day, it didn't really happen so much. I was started to fasting again. And this is my third day without food. So since Monday, I'm doing this. Two complete days behind me. And I don't feel so much good. Like I have, I have a little bit less energy. I would like to focus more for my exercise routine on breathing and uh, meditation. So I'm doing this with a Hungarian guy who is also a YouTuber and a vlogger and he's challenging himself. He's planned to do it for a week and I joined to him and uh, I might not do this for a week but I do until my body feels good and I feel, feel okay with this. Say hi to my followers. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just played first time all these three times I win. Hi. You wanna play with me some poker? No, no. no. <laughs> Look what just happened with me on the previous time when I was sailed from Portugal to Canarian Islands. I had a lot of cool adventures. Check it out. Bye bye little boat and happy new year. Wow. I visit my family, spend the Christmas, spend a good time, New Year's ceremony, all good stuff. Went a little trip to Austria for snowboarding, then I went back to Faro. I didn't have crew, I wanted to go to Morocco. I'm heading to the bus station. Where I'm gonna pick up my friend. His name is Ben, and he's he's a super cool dude. Ah. <laughs> and then we're waiting for another friend who was supposed to come from Sweden. On the bus station again, we're gonna pick up another crew member. <laughs> we were hang out another day, and then we met a few Brazilian chicks. So we decided to stay there another night. Trying to get a ride and going back to the boat. We already in Villa Real. Lovely. She's still here. I decided, like, okay, let's go. And I just met a guy, like he was like standing on the ferry with a bike. We're sailing out with Ben, with Happy, and Olivia is a new, new mate, new crewmate on the board. And he's planning to go Morocco, and then he's turning in the summer to Norway. And I told him like, okay, if you pay a little bit to the trip and for the gasoline and stuff, and you can join and we can put your bag somewhere on the boat. And uh, yeah, we did sailing out and the first day was smooth and the night was a really strong wind a bit. So Ben and Happy, the Swedish guy and my friend from England, they were seasick a lot. And then the day after the, the wind just slowed down, we didn't really move. Dolphinotti so dolphins! Yeah, that was nice. We have a French chef on board. He's making some pancakes! Yeah! Woo! Not far. 44 miles away. Fishermen's in Morocco! And we ended up in Mohammedia when uh, Olivier realized he cannot enter to the land. And we checked in with the policemen and stuff, but we got a little problem because 
Olivier <laughs> didn't bring his passport with him. And my friends decided to leave because Ben had to move back to England and Toby also had something to do in Sweden. I decided like let's go because the weather is good now. Bye bye Morocco! We left uh, Mohammedia after one night, we went out a little bit west first and then we took a boat to, to south to get a wind. We had a nice tailwind, everything was smooth, nothing broke. We had a smooth sailing yesterday, hopefully tomorrow the wind is coming or maybe tonight. Whoa! First we wanted to go the first island to La Graciosa. The guy just called me on radio and said like, hey, you cannot stay if you have no reservation. So we left and we went to another port that was basically in Arecife. And Olivia left the day after and I met a really cool girl, Amy. She's from Ireland, she came with her family. And we did yoga together, we did training together, it was so nice time. And we did sailing together to, to Playa Blanca. Then I met with my friends. Who, who had the marriage ceremony in Tenerife. So it was like a Hungarian meeting on the boat and small boat trip. New day, a new adventure on a new island. Well, it's called Furtaventura. It's a really sweet spot for anchoring. And my friends just uh, appeared from Hungary. We were in high school together and uh, he wanted to sail with me. And then uh, he, he got the Tinder match, so he wanted to go to meet with her. And uh, she has a, a friend from Hungary and we decided to, to move to Lobos. So it was a long day. We arrived at 10 o'clock back to, to, to Playa Blanca. Christian left. I cleaned the boat and then I did a flight to Norway to picking up all this uh, equipment, what I have now, and just make some cool story. Hey guys, today I met with Senia. Say hi. hi. We are planning to go together hiking to the nature. Maybe next week, maybe a week after. Well guys, look at what we just found. Free food from the dumpster and look at my backpack is full with bread and apples and everything. Yeah guys, it's a new day and I'm cooking now. After four day fasting, that means just water without any food. I'm uh, ready again to live the life fully. I hope you like this episode. I'm gonna share you guys a link where you can support my adventures that I don't have to jump to the dumpster free food. Click to the subscribe button below, share with your friends and put a thumbs up.